Would you believe me if I told you that clutter was preventing you from the success you desire? Well, that's exactly what I want to share with you today. Hi, y'all. I'm Carrie Shepard, and I'm a business mentor for women entrepreneurs. I want to share with you today three areas of clutter that might be preventing you from the success you desire. And I know one of them you'll definitely be aware of. The other two might come as a surprise to you. So number one, physical clutter. Physical clutter can come in the form of stacks of paper on your desk, stacks of books that you haven't looked at in years, um, clutter in your car. You know, what does your car environment look like? Do you have receipts or bags or, um, you know, old boxes? You know, what does your car environment look like? You can also look at your home environment and that can include your kitchen, your fridge. You know, what does your fridge look like? Do you have like rumpled pieces of tin foil, um, or are things really organized and clean and neat? Your physical clutter can also come in the form of what does your bedroom look like? You know, is it a place that really lights you up when you go into it or is it filled with clothes and hangers and boxes? So I want you to look at your physical space in all those different areas. So your office, your car, your home, which can, which obviously includes your kitchen, your bedroom, your bathroom, uh, your closet, you know, all those different places. You know, if you can really remove that clutter, it's going to allow more abundance and more flow come in. And you never know what you're going to find. I know for me, just this past week, I was challenged to actually clear the clutter in the form of gift cards. I had a stack, no joke, this big of gift cards. And I went out this weekend and I was able to spend those gift cards and it was so fulfilling and empowering and fun. And you know, the more fun you have, the more freedom and the more money that you're going to be able to bring in, which equates to success. So I want you to take a look at where in your life can you clear some physical clutter? All right. The next part of clutter that might be holding you back is your brain clutter. You know, what do you have up in that mind of your that of yours that may be keeping you stuck or holding you back? And the number one exercise that I teach my clients to do is what's called a brain dump. So it's as simple as taking out a sheet of paper and, and a pen and just writing down everything that's in your brain. So it could be, you know, a to-do list. It could be people you need to call back. It could be creative ideas. Whatever it is, just dump it out on the piece of paper. Because the more that we keep it in our brain, you know, you you know, you find yourself like you could be driving and you have that thought, oh, I need to call that person. Or I know for me, the shower is a place where I'm always constantly thinking of ideas. But if you know that it's out, it's on paper, it's so much easier to deal with and to sort through and you're not clogging your brain full of that clutter. Another area for brain clutter is information and education, which I'm all for. I'm all for reading. I'm all for learning and self-development. But we as visionary, you know, strong driven women can allow things like that to clutter our brain. You know, are you signing up for every single webinar that comes out? Are you reading, you know, multiple books? Do you have multiple magazines? Do you have unread um, emails, things like that? So I want you to think about where you can clear up the clutter in your brain. So do a brain dump and watch out for how many pieces of self-development or personal development um, educational things that you're allowing to come into your space. So we've got the physical, we've got the brain. The next one is virtual clutter. What does your virtual space look like? So I just mentioned email. You know, do you have unread emails or do you have hundreds? And I even know clients that have thousands of emails in their inbox. I want to challenge you to mark all and delete. Just let it go. If you haven't read it, if you haven't responded to it yet, there's no way you're going to. And so instead of going through and filing and, you know, having that lack of mentality, I want you just to delete it. And then I want to make, I want you to make a promise to yourself that you're going to do that at the end of every single day. Um, I really encourage you to have a zero email inbox policy. Um, at the very least, if you aren't able to do it on a daily basis, at least end your week with going through and cleaning up your email box. The next place is social media. You know, how many Facebook groups are you in? You know, are you actually involved in them? And if not, 
get out of them. You know, it's just taking up energy. It's just taking up space and it's sucking that out of you. And so I want you to, you know, really commit to a few Facebook groups that you're going to really be active in and participate in and then get out of all the rest. And that can go back to email too. You know, how many people's newsletters are, are you on? And if you're not reading them, if you're not getting value out of them, unsubscribe. You know, get get him out of your inbox, and that's going to help you keep that zero inbox um, mentality, um, hopefully on a daily basis, but if, if not, at least on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, what does your desktop look like? You know, is your desktop really clean and neat and organized and you have things in folders, or maybe you don't have anything on your desktop? Um, that's going to allow you, you know, when you open your, your computer on a daily basis, it's going to help you feel really inspired, really encouraged. And then even just going further from that, what do your files look like? You know, whether you have it on your computer or maybe a Google drive, which I highly recommend or even Dropbox, you know, do you have things organized? Do you have them in folders? Do you know where they are? And this is a great thing. If you do have a virtual assistant, which I encourage, have them help you have them set up files and systems for you on your virtual space. So wrapping it all up today, today, um, really look at three areas of your life to clear the clutter out. So we first have our physical space. You know, your home, your car, your office, you can even start to look at your physical folders and closets and your fridge, all those kind of things. Number two, we have our brain. Clear the clutter out of your brain. Do a brain dump. Um, don't allow things just to stay up here. Get them out, either delete them, delegate them, or do them. That's my philosophy. And then last but not least, we have your virtual space. Look at your Facebook groups, look at your email, go for a zero inbox uh, philosophy. And um, what newsletters are you are you subscribed to? Like clear that out. So I wanna encourage you to take some action today and I would love to hear from you which one of these areas or are there multiple areas that you need to clear the clutter out? I'd love for you to leave a message below. And if you think somebody in your community would find value in learning about how to clear the clutter in their life for more success, I would love it if you would share this video with them. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed and clutter-free day. Talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.